Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to add and configure slide numbers to your PowerPoint slides. So for example, let's say that we have a slide deck and we want to have our slide numbers at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. So you can see in this example, in the next three, you can see that the numbering is here on the lower right. If I go to the next one here, right? And we can do this, we can add that there. But let's say you also wanted to do something a little bit more uh, fancy. You can also add numbering that has a different type of typeface or different font. And this can be done here. And in addition, if you wanted to have your page numbers varying on the right and the left side, you can also do that. This is an example here on page four. Uh, slide four, I have it over here on the right. And slide five, I have it here on the left. Now in our example, I'll also show you one where if you had a title slide and you didn't want to have that start at slide one, you can also revert that to slide zero or just then have it have it show up. So I'll go through and show you how that's done. Let me go ahead and delete these first so we can start clean. Let me go ahead and delete some from slide three to slide eight. Select that and just press the delete key. And I'll just delete this one too. I'll delete this and so we can start fresh. And well, maybe I'll just kind of delete that slide. We have our title slide and we'll just add a new slide. Let's just insert an insert a new slide and we'll insert a blank slide here maybe we'll, it will do two so if I press if I insert a slide and I press F4 the F4 key it will duplicate my last command so I'll just go ahead and press F4 about a couple times just to get a couple slides there so first how do we add the page numbers well what you need to do is just go under insert go to the insert tab and go under the text group and under slide number you can just click that and a header and footer window will come up and there's an option to add a slide. So once you click on that slide number checkbox, it'll show you where it's gonna put it. Now we can apply it all, click to apply it all, and you'll see that I have, I'm have i on here in slide five. Slide four, three, two, and one have it. So that's one way to do it. And one thing that if you wanted to start your slide on the content slide, not have slide numbering start on the title slide, you can actually do that. You just go under uh, design, go to page setup, and over here where the page setup window is, here you can select where you want the slides to begin from. So we want it to begin at zero. So basically this means that now that slide one, the title slide is zero and one is the beginning of our content slides. So that's how to do that. So what if we don't want the location of our numbering to be down at the bottom right and we want it maybe to be at the top right? Well that can be done what we need to do is go into the slide master and that's under the view tab of the ribbon and go under slide master and where we see let me go ahead and scroll up where we have our slide master here I can just move I can move this up here and that will be an effect for all the slides because that is the slide master which has common attributes throughout the whole slide so I'll go ahead and click Close master view and you can see now we have one up here we have two down there we have three down there so that changes the location of the text box let me go ahead and undo that because I want to show you something else what if let me go ahead and undo that again all right I think that, that changes that so what if we wanted to change the location of our page numbering to alternate from right to left well this is a little bit more of a manual approach and what you'll see is if we do it this, if we do it manual approach way, when you enter new slides in, you're going to have to manually create the left and right slides to duplicate that. So let's show you how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this automatic page numbering. Go into insert slide number and just uncheck that. And click apply to all. And now we see none of these slides have numbering. So if we wanted to have alternating page numbers on different parts of the slide. What we need to do is add a text box. I'm going to add that in there. And at the same time, after I do that, I'm going to insert slide number. So it's going to put slide two there. Let me go ahead and move that a little bit. So I'm going to go to my next slide where I want it to show on the left side. So I have to add a text box here. And go ahead and insert slide number. All right, so now it's moved it over to the left side. Right, so now I have alternating slides. So you see in our example now, if I, if I wanted to have 
another slide what numbers basically I'm gonna have to either do the same thing insert keep inserting it or I can just copy this select that right click copy and just right click paste and now it's put in four. So the thing about this one I mentioned earlier, when you delete a slide or add a slide, this numbering doesn't automatically update. That's one of the caveats about doing it this manual way. So if I click this slide and I press delete, you'll notice that now the numbering has moved over, has stayed there. It doesn't automatically update the position, but it, does, it did automatically update the slide numbering. So basically I'd have to move that around, right? So I have to move those around now this is one of the caveats of doing it this way if you wanted to have alternating uh, locations for your slide numbering. So I'd also mention that you can also create different types of font styles for your page numbering. And that's basically using the approach where we manually enter the page's number. So I, what I can do is I can just enter some text. I go into the home uh, or I can go under where I previously was and insert and enter a text box. But you can do it either way. You can see that Microsoft gives you different options to enter things. So I can enter a text box here and put page and then enter another one that go that says number and then insert a number here, of course. Then go and insert and insert a slide number here. Now, once I do that, I can give it different types of attributes. I can double click it and I'll give it some fancy styles. All right, and give it two, maybe increase the font size. Uh, right click it to bring up the context menu and bring increase the font size. And then, or, or I showed the, an earlier font that was kind of interesting. I would change the font to something really fancy, maybe something like, you know, maybe something like this, make it look really neat. And, and then I'll change that to something else, make this look kind of fancy like that. So there's different ways that you can you make your page numbering stand out a little bit and um, it, it's just like any other type of text on your slide you can configure it to a different size or a different font style. Font style. So I can just basically, basically select this control so do a drag just to select both of it control C to copy bring it down here and control V to paste and you can see that the it automatically updated it for slide 3 so that is how we can uh, change the attributes or the font style and font weight, font size for the page numbering. You can do a lot of things with it. Now, another option to put numbering into your slides is in the notes pages. So sometimes you would have instances where you wanted to print out the notes. So if you want to go and print out notes, let's, this is the way it's done. We just go under file and go to print. And you see that there's a, this is the notes view, right? So I have notes pages selected here. If I just wanted the full pages slide, you wouldn't see it. This is the full pages slide. So if I want to print out the notes, you would see here that there is an option here. This is on by default because I selected this on by default. But to change that, you'd have to go under edit header and footer. And the header and footer window shows up and there's this notes and handouts tab. You just select that. If I deselect it, you'll see that it's going to disappear if I apply to all. But if I select that, you'll see that it'll appear again. And unfortunately, in this uh, this view, there's no way to that I know of to apply this to specific pages. It's either apply to all or none. So that's the way it works for the notes pages. So I, if I go out of this and go into home view and go into view, there's another way to go through it and go into view notes pages you can see in this view you'll see the numbering here so if I go up and down you will see that the numbering shows up here so that is one way to do it and of course Microsoft gives you different options to configure the page numbering so if I go under insert and go under slide number I also have that same window where I can turn it on and off I don't have to go into file print preview so I can turn it off here and apply to all and it'll show up so that is the way that you would add slide numbering to your slides and the slide notes. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos from me, click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and leave a comment below. I'd like to hear from you and hope to see the feedback. Also, do you think others might benefit from this video? If so, click the share text below. 
YouTube will automatically provide a shortened link to this video and give you options to share on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and other social networking sites. Again, thanks for watching.